Just don't fumble. Just don't fumble. Of course. Yeah, do I don't even need to. Bloody hell, your move quality is not very good. Well, it apparently it is. It is now. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Crunch, crunch, crunch. All right, sorry. Um, move quietly. Uh, skills. Do, 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 do. Move quietly or... Here we go. So I was going to move down this way. How many okay. How many hex are we moving? Through there, though. There's, there's, no, there's no way through there, is there? Because it's all blocked off. Well, I don't know yet. No, because I can I can see. I, I can only see through this gap. I'm presuming that that's blocked all the way along. Yeah. Otherwise, so I'd be able to see there. through. What you can see is that there's trees and like little bluffs. That's why you can't get past those areas or see past those areas. Okay, so I'll move over to here. How many hex can we move? Uh, it's just free movement at the moment, so not an issue. Okay, cool. Ebola. <laughs> I had to come up with names for the brew this time. I still can't see them. Barely see one. And sneak quietly. Ish. Oh, I can see one. Okay, so if you're going to push out to there, just do another move quietly roll. Oh. Yeah, he needed he needs a special to hear you just because of the distance. Of what's Getting close. Okay. Do for rune magic. Do I if it's out of combat? Do I need to just keep rolling, or how does that work? Uh, so you still need to roll the rune to cast it, but um, if you're not in combat, basically getting a Sentence to change. My whole bang. So yeah, you cast it. Should I um loose some arrows at this guy? Fuck no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> Let's work out what's what's around first. Fair enough. Easy time. Well, I just yeah, yeah. V V Dad's like, is there one or fifteen? And and just says, Shall I throw my <laughs> bow over there? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, quick. We're facing a giant. Quick throw your bow at it. <laughs> Fundamental misunderstanding of archery. Okay, <laughs> so you guys have got to there. Any movement past there, they they will be able to hear you on um, just normal rolls. Um so um uh, Tostin has cast his Dark Walk, and so he's yep. now free to move, as long as he doesn't enter the uh, the light. And there is actually oh, yes. a, a light, a full light in the dim light area, so once you hit that, that dim light, you've still got a, a bonus to your um, yep. rolls, but, and they've got a minus to their um, perception rolls, but it's just a balancing act between them. All right, I say hang, hang back here. I'm just going to, I'll have a quick duck around and I'll come back. All right, go on. Okay, so you can move eight hexes at a time. Yeah, I don't want to move too far to get into the... So that's, that's the edge of their light there, is it? It looks, still looks like shadow there, right? This This looks like the edge of the light and this looks like shadow area. Even yeah, that so looks the, like the, shadow there. The light is that sort of murky grey area. Oh, I know. Hang on. Hang on. Just hold there. Yep. While I was testing it, I just made it. Oh, no. All good. All good. Okay, so there's a torch down the bottom. That looks like a one brew. God, it's really taking a long time to... Like, the lag is outrageous. Okay, so a bow is there. What does the wings mean? Is that anything for me? No. 
Yeah. Wings generally fast, right? <laughs> I believe Ebola can it's, fly. Now, it's it's me. It's hard for me to see where his light range is. It looks like he's... What's that brew doing here? Is he just standing? He's on guard. So from over the space of a couple, like a uh, round or so, you look at him and you see that he's looking down the valley. He has seen um, the ones further down the valley and he seems to be uh, just carefully stepping Ward, um, to get a better view at Sint and Co. Gene, are you playing your in playing with your instrument? If I can <laughs> interrupt for a second here. <laughs> <laughs> There's a distraction. That's been, a fumble. It's been ten minutes. <laughs> Oh, I already did the fumble, and I took time to pick my instrument back up. <laughs> she intentionally fumbled to make the worst possible noise ever. <laughs> okay, so... Every eight hexes you move is a round, so that's four rounds so far. To, that's You've done that to move, yeah. so it's all less than a minute. But four. Where's Enders? I'm right at the top still. Oh, do you not move down with us? Oh, I didn't realise we were all moving. I thought you were just going to check it out. I mean, he, sh he should be there on that corner. Mm. Oh, I'm on top of him. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> it put me on top. Okay, cool. All right, so what I'll do, I'll ping. Hey, so you need to explain yep, to everyone. Yep. Okay, so where these trees are here, there's a campfire with about eight brew around it. Can you ping it on the map? Yeah. Did I see the kids there? Did they have the kids there or could I not yep. see them? So you saw just um, scattered around the campfire as a number of brew and uh, basically hemmed in three kids. Crikey. Yep. So they've effectively trapped them back in that area. Gotcha. Um, and then they're down here, there's two torches and one brew on guard by the looks of it. Right. It, did I, could I see where the brew is on guard? Is there any, oh, fuck, he's gone. So I say we set the ambush line here and then as they respond right here and then as they respond to the other half of the party, we'll just pick them off. Well, if that, if, if this guy, if this brew, moves outside of the range of the torches, um, we can we can just fuck him up as long as he's quiet. We could have befuddled him, maybe. Yep, and I can take out those torches, so he's got less light. Torches. Well, it's it's more if the, we don't want the guys at the campfire to think that anything's going on, right? Yeah. At this stage. We do want them to think something is going on, so that they send some people out to have a look. But let's let's us make the the going on sound rather than their buddy who's only half dead. <laughs> well, this is where your bow comes in. <laughs> yeah, let's hope. Is it big and heavy enough to throw at them? Yeah. <laughs> See, uh, what's he wearing, etc. Okay, so are you casting Dark Orc on the other two? Not as yet. I just want to know what that brew was like, the guard brew. Yeah, what's he wearing? What are you wearing? Tell me slowly. <laughs> okay, he was wearing a combination of leather and kibbole like the others. And just your bog standard grunt brew. He hasn't got like 20 legs or something. He's not carrying some sort of magic sword. Roll the scan roll. Um, in fact, all of you can. All of you three can roll the scan roll. Scan. Oh shit! The bed. V dad's here. Well Did you see the fucking size of that emerald that he had? Oh, emerald. What well, did it had emerald? What? This. You see the size of that emerald. 
right in the, right in the middle of his forehead. Ooh. I'm saying that. Didn't see that. But I'm going to shoot it off him. <laughs> I'll give you five lunars if you do. You're on. I reckon I should cast Dark Walk on Enders. We should get down to about here. I'll cast Extinguish on this thingy, and then you just pepper the crap out of him. Um, it doesn't really matter, does it, at the moment? Like I could, I can reach he's him actually, from here. He's actually outside the edge of the torch right at the moment because he's gone around to try and see what the hell that noise was down in the valley. All right, well, we need to take him out, I reckon. Yeah, I, I can't actually see him anymore, so I'll need to move forwards a little bit, I think. Or I should be able to see him, though, right? Because I've got Farsi. He's kind of in a fog. I'm low on ammo. I say we let the uh, the others take care of that one, and we take out the ones that are by the campfire. He's just outside the visible range because he's dropping down below a lip. Oh, below a lip. Okay. Well, we don't want him to alert the others. He's not going to go and engage them. He's just going to go and have a look and then and then shout blue murder to alert the others. So I reckon we need to take him out, and then that that allows us to yeah. to deal with those other guys. Yep. In our own sweet time, we can set something up. Yeah. All right, I'll wait here. Okay, so if I oh, do you want me to cast Dark Walk on you? I'll move. I'll move to here in case he starts running back. Okay. I'll, just... I'll move down here. So I'll, I'll, I think I want to get to here. I think that's where I want to be. All right. Let me so you can cast... move freely once he casts Dark Walk on you. What's that? So you can move freely once he casts Dark Walk on you. Okay. Oh, I can see everything now. Oh yes, wow. Really Okay, so you've got Dark Walk on you, and that the sixth round um, sees, sees you guys wander down to there. Yeah. Okay. Right, so I'm going to cast um, multi missile on one of my arrows. And in fact, I'm going to cast multi missile on three of my arrows. <laughs> um, so that'll take you three rounds to do, and there'll be three rounds you don't have to do. Attack but we're not engaged in combat. Oh, that's yeah. He's, he's still moving. He, okay, I'll, I'll cast it on one of my arrows, and I'll shoot two arrows off at him. One of them being the one with multi missile. Okay. So that, if you cast multi missile and shoot in the same round, you can cast the multi missile and then shoot that arrow, or you can cast uh, multiple multi missile. Sorry, you can cast multi missile and then shoot three arrows. In the next round, you can cast multi missile this round and shoot on mm. strike rank 11 or 12. Um, can I? Uh, okay. You know what? I'm going to cast. How many? So multi missile is going to cut. It's going to take one round to cast, right? Yeah, but you can still yeah, get a shot off at the end of that round if you choose to. Um, I want to make sure that I kill him. So I think I probably need to get two lots of multi-missile into him. So I'll cast multi-missile um, on two arrows before I start firing. Okay. So there'll be uh, this round will cast multi-missile, next round will cast multi-missile, and you'll be able to um, shoot at the end of that round. Uh, I'll wait until the next round so I can fire them both, so I can do two multi-missiles and a normal arrow. Okay, sweet. So uh, Neil, what's the statement of intent? Uh, yep. Yeah. So uh, basically, um, uh, Enders is going to—he's got to where he is on uh, round six, and on round seven he's going to cast multi missile. On round eight he's going to cast multi missile, and on round nine he's going to start loading. Well, I'm just—I'm just hunkered down here. What I'll do is potential. Well, I'm waiting to see what happens with this guy, and I may cast extinguish on this. Depending on what happens. So round seven, this guy sort of wanders down a little bit further, and you can see him actually looking at what's happening out in the field. 
so he doesn't have a torch? No, he the uh, torch is fixed back behind him, so he actually has no torch on him. Do you want to move forwards a little bit further, Tostin, so that um, just in case there's movement at the camp, you, you don't end up in my line of fire? If he doesn't have a torch, how is he seeing, seeing then? So their light, if you have a look out at where the rest of the group is. Gotcha. So he's kind of crept out into the darkness just to have yep. a squeeze. Yep. So well, why don't I just rush him, rush him from behind? Because he's not going to see me at all. So you get your surprise bonus. Because if it's pitch dark and from behind, that should be mass. It should be an automatic critical, pretty much. <laughs> God, you sound like someone else trying to negotiate an automatic hit. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, it's it's, it's definitely going to hit because you can choose where it's going to go. You're walking up to them completely silent and completely invisible. Yeah, walking up, just like aiming a golf club and just like, whomp. You're like, you could even like get as close as you like with your broadsword, like find the little gap in his armor and just push it through. or Or come up right behind him and just... Cut his throat. Stand in front of him, even. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And just stick it square in his eye. Get your spear out. <laughs> Stab him right in the eye. Yeah, I could get my arrow, line it up right in front of his face. <laughs> just by a point blank. Like a, a point blank range. <laughs> well, ironically, that would actually be against you with your arrow, but yeah, if you stood back about three metres and just launched it into him. And just like, boom. And then throw my bow at him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling to find the modifier sheet. What, for the... Combat modifiers. You should take your bowstring off and make a garret wire. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's in the... Um... Game system. Here we go. Yeah, so darkness. So pitch black darkness, all skills depending on normal eyesight, are minus 75%. The darkness of night. When an adventurer is operating in darkness, of the game arm must decide a range of minus 50 to minus 70. Um, and then... Yeah, how they've got it all written in um, paragraphs about the combat modifiers, but there's no, no quick sheet. Yeah. Oh, there was it was prone but not from behind. I think that's combat maybe. Okay, make your attack with a plus forty. Plus forty. Yep. That guy's completely visible to you guys. Um but you've got absolutely no idea of you being there. Uh, so this round plus forty. So I'll just shall I nip down and do him or do you want to I'll do it. Snoo. Can I um can I uh, roll my battle skill? To get. Um, oh, do I need to do that before or after a battle? From reading the rules, it, it doesn't seem like a pertinent scenario for that skill. Well, it, it will be soon when we're... Well, it says it, it, um, the skill is used when an adventurer is in a battle, either large or small. I just interpreted it as like a... a like, if you have a phalanx, you have like a... Or a battle line, like a Praetorian yelling out orders for the line. So it seems like something that you yell out. It's battle, not combat. If you do that, then you're just relying on the battle skill rolls to... Oh, okay, yeah. Screw that then. So um, so I've cast... So you, so what were you doing? So you've just cast, you're just casting multi-missile while this is all happening. Yeah. Multi-missile doesn't wear out, does it? it just, it's until you've cast... We still okay. run out of magic points. Okay, can I in, um, augment with something? I've got a pretty high death power rune, or You'll something have a hate like chaos, won't you? No, I don't have hate chaos. Hate Luna, not hate chaos, or love of family. None of those particularly, but you could try and invoke like your ear rune or your um... death rune. Yep, I'll let you go with death. Wishing death upon you. Sweet. They've got plus 60. All right. Here we go. What are you attacking with? My axe. Oh, my oh. God. Three damage. Yeah, I've not seen it yet. There it is. Uh -oh. 
It's a lot of dice, but nothing. That's crazy, man. That is crazy. Okay, 31% of your roll on 145% chance to hit of a special does three damage to the right arm. Uh, or I should probably should have just aimed at his head rather than just wildly swing. That's a bit stupid. Well, you can do that when he turns around. Okay, so <laughs> he won't see you. Uh, multi missile, um, cast your multi missile spell. Okay. How many? Um, well, what is it? It's power, isn't it? Power times five. Yep. All right. So, how many times have I? It's three times I've cast okay, now. So yeah. This is the first time. So uh, this is all happening in round seven. So just um, you get your first spell off. Okay. Success. So uh, end of round seven, you've cast your multi missile uh, for the first time. Um, Neil has gone down, and at the end of that round, has attacked um, the brew. Uh, and give him a slam in the arm, um, and then statement of intent. Oh, you, can roll, cast you, know, you can roll. You can roll your second multi missile. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Oh, fucking my rolls okay. tonight, man. So you've got one, <laughs> one arrow with multi missile on it currently. Okay. At the moment, uh, roll your power times five, Tosten. Yep. Okay, he hasn't made a noise as of yet. Um, so at the end of that round, he hasn't actually screamed, hasn't made a noise yet. He is surprised, so you'll still continue with a plus 20 on that roll, and then you'll get a plus 20 also for your wound. Okay. okay. I just, can I get an, uh, an aim shot still half, isn't it? I should probably just... Half your chance to hit. Do it, man. What's that? 80, so 90, 30... Yeah, that's good. We'll do we'll do a name shot to the head. I was just gonna say about uh, dominate. Sorry, I was just muttering to myself thinking um your skill is hundred and five, um that other plus twenty is situational. Um but yeah, so you're gonna do aim shot or um or just straight out hit? I'll I'll try aimed shot because if I miss he's not, hopefully not gonna cry out or just miss him. Yeah, because it won't make a sound. Yep, and he cannot see me. And he's got a minus 50% chance to, but he's still working out a turn yet. How can he parry if he can't see me? Or hear you. When, when he can actually get to you. Yeah. At the moment, his back's to you. Oh, his back's still to me. Yeah, so this is your hit as he's starting to try and turn around. So is that minus 20 or minus 40? Plus my uh, bonus he's, bonus. So he's, you've got a total of plus 40 at the moment. Okay. Shall I roll? Yeah, pretend it's a herd roll. Come on. Yes. Seven damage Three. to the head. Ah, uh, left arm. No, aim shot. It was aim oh, shot. Yeah. Okay, seven damage to the head. Roll another luck roll, will you? Just want to see if you damage um, the emerald. See if you get splurted with blood. Yeah, you lucky boy. Okay, you hit him on the back of the head. <laughs> Cleaved his skull. Short back and sides. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right arm took one. The head took... You did a total of seven points, didn't you? Yep. Okay, it hasn't actually knocked him out. Hasn't even knocked him out. You can see that it's, he's got a really tough head. And, uh, like, you've done some serious damage to him, but it hasn't knocked him down. Damn it. Yeah, those wings have got a halo on them. They're not... Are they wings? Yeah, wings with a halo. What's he doing? Ah, uh, he's still trying to turn. Right, um, I'm going to cast multi-missile again. So he's turned to face you. Uh, there's trying to work out what the fuck's going on. There's a, like a shadowy shape that's just flashed into him. Okay, I'm just going to show you what he sees. On the map? Oh, hang on. Forget it. Basically, he sees only the edge of darkness about a metre away from him. <laughs> Sucked in. Sorry, what, what was that? So all he can see is um, about a, two hexes to his right-hand side. He sees the edge of the light. All you are is this shadowy shape in front of him. You're Stannis Baratheon right now, shadow baby. Yeah, so he's going to try and lash out with his um, axe to try and sort of swipe to see what the hell got him. But he's at a minus 75. Cool. Sorry, spear. 
<laughs> mm. Laugh as if you had a rolled 05. Okay. But he didn't. Go for it. So, statement of intent. So. Oh, uh, yeah. Do your multi missile. Yeah, I've multi missiled 19. We're off and running. So, Tostin. Um, I'll give it another aimed. Uh, and I will also cast Befuddle. Uh, your aimed shot would take up the round. I say fully, can't do anything else? Yep. Okay. Just defend. Yep. Okay, so uh, aim shot or, or befuddle? Aim shot. Okay, so you're on 12. Okay, this, that eight rounds gone so far. And on six, seven, and eight, you cast multi missiles. Okay. Oh. Uh, and be dead, what are you up to? Uh, we still just see the one now. Yep, so he's. Uh, Make a luck roll again, Neil. Good on you. He's grunted, but he hasn't called out yet. Okay. I'll just hold my position, and I'll just... If uh, they start running from the campfire, then I'll start lobbing rocks at them. So, uh, and similar... Ah, uh, sorry, not similar. Um, in this, what you, you can so, only fire the rounds on the close side to you there, because they're sitting down around the campfire. What was that? You can only shoot at the ones on the close side of the campfire to you. Uh, just... Yeah, I know, but once but once I die, then I can shoot through, right? Yep. Although there's someone in the middle. Don't shoot at them yet. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to shoot at them yet. Okay. Uh, I'm, 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 ca I'm casting multi missile. Gotcha. So you've seen, succeeded on two of them so far, haven't you? Yeah, missed one, got two. Okay, so uh, strike rank four. Is um, is the other half of the party moving in? Uh, once they hear noise, you say, well, at the moment, they're only just sort of approaching slowly. Okay. I might um, I might move just a couple of squares down here as well. That's only three hex. Okay, I can do that while I cast. What's that? Roll for your multi-missile to come off. Oh, here we go. Hooray. That comes off. So now that's three multi-missiles that I've got ready to go. Okay, Tostin, with your attack. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Oh, three damage to the head. Man. That sucks, that damage. It bounces. Yeah, so I think it, it keeps rolling 1d8, a 1. I know, it sucks, man. No, this is a bad night. It bounces off his head. Fuck <laughs> you, Swing it like you mean it. He flashes back out at you. Phew. And now he's got a 5% chance to hit. Yeah, just corrected it so that it all recognises it as the 5. You always got that 0 one to 5. Okay, so that was the end of round 9. So, statement of intent. Going with oh, roll your luck again. Luck is not going to last forever. Hopefully, yeah. There you go. Oh. Okay. When you hit him at the end of that round, he yelled. Okay. So all of a sudden they hear uh, that something's going on. And then they will react. It will take them this round to actually start to move. Okay. At the end of the, at that sound also, that you're now free to um, roll the, the other three characters too. Okay. Stab of intent. Toss them. Um, I'm going to. Oh, he's three. He's head. Okay, and I have one last. Fuck. <clears throat> I'm gonna have one more aimed shot on his head. Well, so he'll actually um, go before you. Okay, uh, Enders. Um, I'm gonna cast another multi missile. Uh, fifth time you're casting it, but. Um... Fifth time I've had a crack at casting it. Yeah. Only the f it's gone off four. T uh, it's gone off, it's gone off three times. Yep. So okay. far. Um, v Dad, you've heard the noise. As this, um, that brew has yelled. Oh, v, v Dad's going to continue to hold, and Jean will stay behind the others moving forward, but she will move forward with them. Okay. Uh, Sindred? Sindred's going to move down into the valley. Yep, so at uh, the full 12 hexes. Uh, yep, 12 hexes. Okay, Ingest? 8 hexes. Is it? Uh, on on horseback he can go ten, and we've they've both got torches, haven't they? 
So I've just moved Sindred. Um, so uh, Hengus continuing to move 10 hexes. Yeah. And um, we should probably just hold back because we don't want to rush in and all be in this area. Because all, all those brew can see are, are the torches from these, from Sindred and that. So I'm assuming they're yeah, going to run for them. So I'll, uh, I'll just move. Have you Did you move? Did you just move Hengus? Move them up to 10. Okay. That's he's going to sort of. Yeah. Okay. So that then leaves us to go with. Uh, Enders, roll your down off the soul. Oh, you. F Motherfucker. Okay. What's going on there? Uh, this guy having a crack at you, uh, Costin. Nope, he, he's got this spear and he's just waving it around wildly, but absolutely nowhere near you. Okay, and on the strike round 12, uh, you were aim shot. It doesn't look like it. He's not set at his machine. Damn it. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, so end of the round, um, you two have waved your magic weapons at each other and missed greatly. Mind you, that was relatively close, that one. Uh, Okay, so you've still got three arrows launched, and at the end of that round, they turn and react. Okay. Statement of intent, starting with Tostin. <clears throat> I'm just gonna, just gonna completely belt him this time. No, no aimed hit. Just gonna have a slash at him. Okay. He does. Um, casting multi missile. Okay. And me dead. Hold. <laughs> okay, so uh, Tostin, what are you striking five? He said he was just gonna just do a normal attack. Yeah, normal attack. Right. Um, yep. So that, is that strike rank five or six? Uh, that is strike rank five. Okay, so you'll go off, and then Ebola will go off. Am I doing that now? Yep, we're right there now. Have a job. Okay. Eight, there we go. Three. Okay, a fairly sizable chunk of that gets through. Okay, his return hit on the same strike rank. Fail. Okay. Okay, he is being hit rather hard, but he manages to stay upright. Uh, you can see, though, that his leg is buckling underneath him. Um, is he falling over? Yep, yeah, he is falling to the ground so that uh, he will be prone. Sweet. You should be able to lop his head off or scalp him. Okay. So that was on five. Uh, multi missile spell. Multi missile array. Okay, it comes off. So now I've got four of them packed. Got four of them, yep. Okay. Strike rank six, they will take their movement. There's a brew down here that's got um, next to no energy right down the bottom. There's a lot of brews here, man. Okay, here we go. Uh, that was on six, seven, eight. Yep, that's cool. That's the end of the round. Okay, statement of intent. Um, I'm going to cast multi missile, and I'm going to walk down three hex as well. Okay. Tostin. Tostin, what are you going to do this round? For people to stop shouting. Um, I'm going to attack, attack, and parry. Okay. You'll get a plus forty because he's prone, right? Yep. Plus on on top of the other plus twenty he's already got. So um, yeah, so he's, you're at plus sixty for this this round. Okay. So seems moving. V dead. What can you see? I don't see anything. Should. Oh, no, not quite. Okay. So I'm just gonna hold still. Yep. Yep. Okay. So um, going off strike rank five, um, Boston. There is your turn order. Oh yeah, bad. Oh, oh yeah. there we go. <laughs> that's the that's that's the one. <laughs> See, that's what you've been waiting for all this time. Yeah, that should have been the first hit. Okay. He did. He's on minus eight. <laughs> you literally just cut him in half. 
Nice. Straight through the gut. Sever them straight through the you know, the spine, just holds there for a moment and then sort of collapses backwards and he falls down. And that's in the dark. That's in the dark. Only you can see that. And me. Uh, yeah, only you can <laughs> see that. Okay, so you've managed to uh, take him out. Um, so that was on strike on five. Uh, he didn't even get his shot off. Okay, Enders, roll your multi missile. I can't wait for him to come across that. Okay, that's so off. Damn. How far can I move having cast multi missile? Three hexes. Is it three? Yeah. Cool. Okay, their movement. Okay, this guy stops and grabs the torch. But he doesn't, because that he only uh, gets to move partial. Okay, so that's their movement there. So, end of round uh, completed. Uh, do the other characters move up? Uh, they're just holding at the moment there, unless you guys are moving them. No, they're going to stay there. Well, Cindred is. Okay, statement of intent. Um, I'm going to... How many multi? I'm gonna. Uh, how many multi missiles? Oh my God, I've only got four. I'm gonna cast multi missile again. I'm gonna cast extinguish on the dude with the torch. Okay. And I'm gonna move north that way. Okay, up out of the light. Yep. And, I, and I'm also gonna move three hex over here somewhere. Okay. Okay, V dead. Hold. Okay. So cast the extinguish. Yep. It's rush hour here. Fumble. Ball sacks. You did not cast your spell. Goody. <laughs> okay, so make your move. They still can't see. I lie, they can see Sindred and Hengist. Should I cast my multi-missile? Hooray! That's five of those bad boys. Yep, so five of them there. Um, that's the end of round 13. Okay, statements of intent. Those guys, they've seen uh, Sindred and Fingist, and uh, um, there's a group of them starting to run that way. Okay, I am going to loose some arrows at this dude here. And if... And if and when he dies, and with the first or second arrow, I want the third one to go through to this guy. I'm hoping he'll make lots of sound, and they'll turn around. How many brew are running across? Because I can't, they're just out of my vision. Or is that actually out of my vision? Just, yeah, it's behind you. These ones here? Yeah, there's one, two, three. Three. There's one here, smelly ass over here, oh, yeah. holding the torch, and two left back in the camp, both of whom are about to die. Yep, so I'll, I'll cast uh, Extinguish again on that guy, and we'll continue to move north, like, away from him as he's walking up. Oh, did, did you check his, um, his thing on his head? No. All right, we'll come back. Let's not forget he had something on his head. Mm-hmm. Let's also not forget you owe me five lunars. <laughs> okay, so um, so how so Enders, you're shooting the first two arrows at Kraken. Yep, and then the third arrow, if the Kraken hasn't fallen or has fallen, you're going to shoot at the one behind him. Yep. Okie dokie. Um, and be dead. I'm just going to continue to hold for now. So, extinguish. This time. Here we go. Oh, God. Dude. Dude. Oh. Spent it all on those luck rolls. <laughs> the herd rolls. So, ready for the first arrow? Yep. So, first arrow. Boom. Oh, just. Hey. Five. So, that's 15 points of damage to the abdomen. 
Oh, I need to roll three, the... Three lot, yeah, I was going to say, one lot of five here so far, so now just the other two. Oh, critical. Hooray. Okay. All of it to the abdomen as well, correct? Uh, uh, no, I don't location. think so. Isn't that what you just read about the magic missile? They all go to the same spot that was hit? No, they all do the same damage, but can uh, critical. Okay. You see, that's one of the big differences is it can critical, whereas it never used to be able to. Okay, just having a look at the sheet, because that's going to be interesting. First couple, first one actually bounced. Bounced? Second one has um, nailed his leg, and he'll, um, he'll go to the ground. And the third one actually bounced. The first and third ones all bounce. The second one, the critical, has nailed him and dropped him to the ground. But he's not dead. Fucking wow, bounced on a five. Okay. He's got some pretty solid armor going on. Bounced on an eight as well. Oh, no, that would be a five as well. Oh, okay. It's the same damage. It was left leg, wasn't it? Uh, left leg critical, yeah. Okay, so he's gone to the ground. Cool. Or has he? Yep, so he's, well, yeah, he's definitely sort of buckled. Um, so take your... Uh, the extinguish didn't work, so take your second shot. My second shot goes a little something like this. Oh, fuck off. Okay. And that, that's pretty much what he says to you. So then roll your other, roll your other couple of... Yep. There we go. Specialed? Doesn't matter, does it? It's a special, not a critical. Or does it? I don't know. Uh, just a critical from what... Yeah, okay. So they all just go ping, ping, ping. Yep. Waste. Okay, and then uh, the third shot. There it is. Nice. So that's special with a nine. And the other two go there and there. <laughs> nice. Still nine and nine. Okay, so it was right leg, left leg. Abdomen. Right leg, left leg, abdomen. All with nines. Okay, you see him flinch on a couple of those. Flinch? Oh, <laughs> motherfucker. Okay. Um, that's, there was the third one, so you've got two multi-missiles left. Um, yep. You can see him at the end of the round. He's still there, but... Um, He's concentrating. He's concentrating. All right, well, I will break that concentration Okay, so that'll with be my the... next arrow. Yep, so the, um, just hold up. Just go back to statements. I'm going to fire three arrows, but the two of them multi-missiles. Or the first two will be multi-missile. The last one will be a normal arrow. Um, yep. Again, at Kraken, and then if and when he dies, go through to Terse of the Terrible. Did he make a noise? Did the others turn well, around? He, he, he grunted. War. War is good for absolutely nothing. Exactly. <laughs> so that was the end of that round. So um, just roll. Give me three luck rolls, will you, Neil? Uh, Snoop? Where, it, where do I find luck? I was looking for that just before. How times five. Oh, power five, okay. Three of them. Do one each. Huh? One each. Oh. Oh, yeah, there's three. One of them turns back. Okay. Okay, statement of intent. Three arrows into the Kraken. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I can actually see Puss or if I'm seeing what Snoo is seeing. Uh, no, you can definitely see Puss. I can see Puss. Is that the one that turned back towards Snoo? Looks like it. It, he's gone back towards the camp, yeah. Oh, he's turned around. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. I'll, I'll just keep holding. Yep, yeah, those other um, smelly-ass... Sorry, smelly-ass pus and mucus are advancing forward. And if we click off his name, I could tell you who the other one is. Belch. Yep, Belch is uh, heading back. Belch has got no energy. Is that an issue? I've taken it off twice and it keeps buddy doing it. Okay. 
Whereas, whereas, cra- where, whereas Kraken appears to have quite a lot of energy. Demoralize on Smellyass. So you're doing the extinguisher on Smellyass? Demoralize. Okay. I'd, I'd like to switch my intent. Yep, V did. Well, I'm only just getting to you, so yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he's got this wand of befuddle, two points ranged. Yep, so it costs uh, two magic points to cast, and it's got a 50 meter range. All right, yeah, uh, I'll, I believe I can use it. I'd like to use the Wand of Befuddle. Nope, I can't use it. You can move in, though. I'll just hold for now. Well, you could get... You could move three hex in and, and reach him though, right? Almost. Yeah. yeah he's got to come in for yeah. Four, yeah. One, two, yeah. I'd yeah, prefer okay. not to make Basically, myself he's either known. Going to advance, but then he's, then he's putting himself at risk. Exactly. Yeah. He doesn't so I'm going to keep holding. Him. Yeah, I don't have the invisible you to do, so I'm on an island out here. Mm-hmm. And the uh, rest of the party is pretty far away still. So yeah, that, that's my intent, is to continue to hold. Okay. Um, Sindrid and Hengist. Hold. Um, roll for Sindrid against Hate Chaos. Sindrid says, fucking Chaos is here, I've got to go and bash it. Fair enough. Yep, that sounds like him. Yep, so so Sindrid's going to come in and charge. Um, Sindrid actually can't. Sindrid actually can't see Jack shit at the moment, so he, could, uh, he should be able to see the campfire from where he is. Yep, he can see. Oh, actually, no, he's, he can see shadows of the other four in front of the campfire. Yeah, so he should be able to like see their outline. So he's going to run towards those two. So he, he does what thirty is thirty six hex is it? Uh, not not in this one. Um, no. So that was on the other sheet. On this one, he can move twelve hexes. Twelve hexes. Um, at a charge. Yep, that's him. At the start of the charge is twelve hexes. Yep. All right. Well, that's where he's going. He's charging, basically charging towards this middle guy who's in the line of the. He's basically charging straight towards the fire, I suppose. Neil, uh, what do you want for Hengist? Sorry, I was muted. Yep, Hengist will just uh, follow up as well. Just having a look at spill. And then uh, Jean's going to grab a hold of Hengist's pocket and just hold on to it. Now, I hate chaos so much. Um, Jean, can you I... advance by yourself because the other two are on horses. Oh, are they? Yep. Well, a horse oh, that's fine. Nice. Nice. She doesn't have a horse? Yeah, but um, charging forward. No, she will not do that. Yeah, I'll just move forward cautiously. Eight hexes. I'll, um, I'll Hengus will match. In fact, because I don't suspect he's going to leave. The children are just by themselves, are they? No, they're on um, on one of the cows. <laughs> they are, but they are back behind you lot. So basically, um, trailing along behind John. I just didn't want to have to move every single hit one of them. Yeah, okay. So yeah, H- um, Hengus will just move slowly, same speed as Jean. Okay. So they'll move forward at uh, four hexes um, per thing, whereas um, Sindra will barrel ahead 12. And then we shall let loose uh, with Endars. You notice, halfway through I'll tell you exactly what you see is happening from the others. Okay. Um, because I hate chaos so much, can I augment these arrows with my hate yeah, chaos? You can try and augment with hate chaos, yes. Well. Okay. Now, the downside of that is you're now minus 20. That sucks a bit. You actually like chaos today. Chaos could be quite fearful. You're not quite really sure. Uh, right. well, that's a bad. First arrow. <laughs> Fucking kidding me. You're pulling your punches. 
do it again and do it properly. Oh my god. It's bullshit, man. It is just bullshit. Okay, so your first one hit for the ship damage. Second one hits, but again, ship damage. And the third one hit for ship damage. Okay, so arrow number one, and they all bounced. That's terrible. That is terrible. One magic missile left, multi missile. Okay, so that was strike rank one. Um, uh, demoralized? Tostin. Yeah, Tostin for the demoralized. <sighs> Doesn't come off. I've got a very bad feeling about this. Okay. Strike rank six. I will get them to do their movements and then um, engines will shoot. Do they look like they're heading to me? No, they're more just rushing out to um, the, taking a rough line to the um, the light they can see from Sindrid. Yep. So that's their movement. You also see that Tursa is um, mumbling away to herself and Pulling up some sort of magic. Do any of these two look very special at all, or are they just, again, normal? Uh, which one? These two. Uh, uh, pus and mucus. Yeah. These all look really cool. Really cool? Yeah, really cool. What, like shades and le black leather jackets? <laughs> um, not far off. Uh so, mucus seems to have some sort of um, dribble and drool sort of coming down his chin. Ooh. Um, and apart from that, he's got a real sort of, um, I don't know, what's the word, infested look. Mm. Okay, and pus. Pus is attractive for a, um, for a brew. Mm. Um, he has almost like a, a blacky sort of look on his hands. It's be the best way to describe it. Like there's something, something funny about his hands, and his um, his horns on top of his head seem to have a funny colour compared to everyone else's. Yikes! <clears throat> and Ooh, smelly ass, one. smelly ass. You can see that there's a whole lot of insects floating around him. <laughs> That's nasty. Okay, and you can't see anything more about um, Belfort Brothers. Okay, so um, end of the round. Uh, so stroke rank six, let's go with Enders. Okay, so this is your last multi-missile arrow, isn't it? Yep. Okay, so hits for 11 points of damage. So roll the next two. Uh, well, no, I did roll three. The first oh. one failed. Oh, the first one failed. First one failed. And then, Second and then one the next two. Damage. Yep, and then the third one hits. So six points of damage to the right leg. Okay, it bounces. And the other six points, uh, that'll bounce as well. Uh, just quickly. Um, so I know he lost 20 for the, um, the hate chaos roll, but isn't it prone? So doesn't it even out? Doesn't he get 20 for it being prone? Uh, it was prone, but it's not anymore. Oh, okay. Oh, I didn't get any extra for it being prone before. No, no that, there was literally only that one round. Oh, right, okay. Um, am I still minus 20 for, like, because I don't actually hate chaos anymore? Yep, so that all affects you for the entire combat. All right, cool. And, and I failed with my first arrow. Yep. So the first one you succeeded on did six damage. No, the first one I failed. I mean, yeah, so and then all oh, right, so the first one I succeeded on did six. So we're just going to do the others do six. Yeah. The first that succeeds. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Wow, bouncing on six. That's bad news, guys. Because mm -hmm. uh, I can only do three more damage in that, or a critical. But who's this kraken? Yep. Yeah. Shouldn't I be getting a bonus because they can't see where it's coming they're from? They're not, they're not trying to parry or anything. They're just free targets that you're just shooting at. Right. So you got surprise. You got a plus 40 in that first round where you was unleashed before they moved. But then um, because you were casting multi-missile, you didn't get that. 
Okay. So that was why Neil was getting a plus 60 to hit. But once they became weary, they're just uh, they're not a freestanding target. Cool. Okay, so that was on strike rank 6. They've already done their movement. Uh, the uh, strike rank 11, you also notice that a funny shape seems to have formed at the end of the round there. Okay, uh, but do your third do your third arrow on Kraken, which is just a standard arrow. There, did you say? Yep, so there's another. Fucking kidding me. Yep, so see, you can see where I've dropped in another. So that's a, a funny shape the best way to describe it it's not solid it's got a non-corporeal look but at the same time is it's um, it hasn't moved at the end of that round okay statements of intent um this is looking bad uh 20 arrows left two four six eight ten okay i'm just gonna fire off three arrows um at Tersa the Terrible. I'm gonna to continue to move back and I'm gonna cast Extinguish again on this dude. Uh Vidad will move forward this time and attempt to befuddle on Puss. Okay. Puss may move out of your range. Uh, it's pretty far up there. Yeah. Um yeah, I'm going to move forward and attempt it, if I can, if he's still in my range. Um, and Sindrid and Hengist? Sindrid's charging. charging. Um, yeah, um, we'll move forward eight as normal. And as soon as Sindrid sees the the brew with the torch, he's going to okay. charge at him. Yeah, hey, I've started altering his line for that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that brew is heading towards Sindrid, as is Puss and Rufus. Okay, so go with the extinguish. Oh my! God. <clears throat> this is this is that's burning. The cool thing is, this guy's got no idea what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't even recognise the fact that you're even attempting because he can't see or hear you. <laughs> Okay, so he does. Okay, that bounces. Okay, uh, coming around to strike rank six. So I'll just make the movement. But she's probably not extinguished that. Otherwise, Sindrid's not going to have anything to aim. One final movement to go. I've got my second arrow. Ooh. Was that one you just did then? That's terrible. You do need to talk to your Fletcher. Totally. The blunt. It's uh, all right. I think I'm getting spirit back to the good one. Three, please. A what, What's sorry? that? Spirit law roll. Zero. Spirit law. Oh, I've got zero on spirit law. Oh. <laughs> do I roll a spirit he roll? He does. You rolled a two. Um, so you will know something. Oh, sweet. Yep. Uh, roll for Dan um, Vedad. I got a five. Doesn't that still count? Yep. That One through five. Well. Yep. So you guys recognize what's coming across there as a ghost. It, um, it will be seeing power. Oh, goody. I've got no more rune points, so I can't sunbright it. Would it not work against undead? No. Nah, not well, he's ghost. dead. The ghost is <laughs> not, a, not, a dumb, not like that demon or that. Okay, uh, so that's now six. So that's my arrow, yeah. Is ghost cast as undead? Nah, it's spirit. Oh, shit. Atosin's going to shite himself. I'm presuming he doesn't, doesn't know. He doesn't know it's a ghost yet. No. Second arrow, Seven. boom. Seven damage. On the right arm. Not the wrong one. Okay, she a little bit pissed with you. Well, a little bit pissed with something. A little bit pissed with the arrow in her arm. Um, she is, yeah, not happy, but she's not moved from where she is at the moment. Okay, and let's go with 
the fuddle. So move your, uh, you can move three, four hexes. Have you done the movement for v -Dead? I moved three, so I can move one more. What? And then see if you can cast. But I don't think I'm in range. Nope. You try to cast and sort of um, just don't even get a chance to sort of rattle it off. Okay, the uh, third arrow. The third arrow is my favourite arrow. This is the Sharpie McSharp face. Cool. Yeah. yeah. In the head. That one bounces. Oh. What? <laughs> this you is on that woman, head? the female brew. Yeah. Shit. Seven in the head. Fuck, man. She's already got some spells up. Jesus We're doomed. Put this way, with what she's wearing versus the reaction you're getting, you're pretty sure she's got protection up. <sighs> We're doomed. No. It's, it's those four rounds that you cast multi missile. Okay. End of rounds. So Syndra will almost be able to connect with that guy. So toss him. So it's only three meters in the three yeah, meters okay. in the attack and parry, or you can charge and try and shield slam them or something. Well, that's what I was thinking. I'm shield slamming one of them so that he's on the ground, but then am I in direct? So that what, shield shield me shield slam him, but then am I going to be in direct path of Sindred, or can I do it so that I basically um, push him to the ground? Have him trample and then run past. You're pretty sure Syndrid's chasing smelly ass. Oh, okay. In fact, everyone's chasing Syndrid, but um, I'm pretty sure Syndrid's chasing smelly ass with the line he's taking. All right, cool. I'll do. Uh, I'll do demoralize on mucus, and then move to the west. Okay, so three hexes. Yeah. Uh, Enders. I'm going to move towards. I'm going to move this way. Just three hexes, and I'm going to loose three arrows at this guy here. Belt. I can't even see him. Uh, my turn. Yep. So. Vidad is going to have the sling in the right hand while he has the wand in the left. And I'm going to try to huck some rocks at Puck. I'll push forward three before I do. Or no, I'll, I'll just hold. Then I'll get two rocks thrown. Yep. You can still move the three and um, cast two rocks. Okay, yeah, I'll do that. Um, and then for Jean, I'm going to cast Shimmer on Sindrid. So do John first. Are we at that point yet? Yep. So we'll, Sin do, we'll do John first. Yep. I don't think uh, the what is he? The scribe. I don't think he's done an intent yet. Uh, the last one was just advancing um, alongside you. Yeah, he's going to keep keep moving forward, and then once he starts getting him within range, he's going to blast on a couple of spells. Okay. Um. Let's see. So, how do I cast Shimmer? So, power times five. So, the bring on the power. Power times five. Okay, it comes off. So, that was Shimmer 2, wasn't it? Oh, that's a special as well. Yep. Unfortunately, it doesn't affect the spirit magic. Oh, uh, okay. Um, yeah, I. Th shimmer times two. Seeing what I have, I'm just going to. Yeah, it's, it's Shimmer 2. Okay, so there's minus 10 to hit Sindrid. Oh, uh, well, can I put the rest of my magic points in that to make it minus 20? No, it's just solely the points of the spell. Okay. Oh, okay, I get it now. All right, perfect. The, uh, okay, so that was Jean. Okay, Enders. Um, for my, um, my attack? Yep. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, I'm on the wrong sheet. There we go. Let's go down here. First arrow. There we go. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Man. Yeah, they're definitely bounces. This is just ridiculous. I think we should just roll the weapon and then roll for damage. <laughs> like, just roll a single D8 because it just keeps giving you ones. Uh, yeah, fully. So now that comes round to Tostin. Oh, actually, sorry, uh, be dead first. Okay. Oh, wait, I I was going to move before I started flinging yeah, sorry, rocks. In, in the process of moving, you'll, you'll still take your shots. Okay. All right, let me... So uh, this time I'm going to evoke my Earth Rune to cast a little charm on my rock. Uh, no, it would be Movement Rune, Year Rune... Uh, like you can't affect the damage or the chance to hit that sling, so that's got specific associations. Oh, I cannot with the Earth Rune. No. Oh, he, he does hits. not have hate chaos either. No. Uh, you've got your Earth Rune up though, haven't you? Uh, you got just, you've got you haven't used your year or movement runes, have you? I uh, n- not this. I used my air rune for the sling last one. I can use that's that one a, again. So that'll keep, yeah, so you used that on the last combat, didn't you, um, on the skirmish? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try the air rune again. Fucking. Fuck. Okay. Okay, and do your attack. Well, at least, oh, fuck. All right. It's not going well at all. Okay. The, that was on three, so tossed him. Obvious fail. Ooh. Okay, this is good. power. Uh, 12... Was that the extinguish? No, demoralize. Uh, oh. It was on mucus, wasn't it? Uh, yep. He's got power at 11. Hey! So what's that? So, uh, 65? Come on, come on, come on. Yay. Okay. Mucus is demoralized. Just, can you find the description and read it out? Yep. I could probably find it. What is this a um, spirit? Spirit magic. Yeah, I'm already in spirit magic right now. So, power versus power resistance roll. If it's successful, the victim loses faith in their own ability and of their abilities to win a fight find treasure, bring honor to the clan, or achieve the goal. Victims can still defend themselves fully, but attack only at half normal percentage. They can only use defensive and heal spells. If the spell takes effect before combat is started, then the victim does not try to attack. Faced with superior odds, the victim either runs or surrenders. Fanaticism cancels. Okay, so he starts bugging out. Yep, so... um. He's like, shit, everyone's, all the stuff's happening around me. All I can see is this guy riding towards us. Um, and half and half is probably just come in light. I've seen the dude chopped in half. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that is Tostin, and that brings us around to movement. And at this movement, we will see Victor hit Smelly Gas. Smelly gas. Okay, I'm going to need a con roll from Sindrid and another one from Boris. Sindrid and Boris. Where's his con? How do I do a con roll on Boris? Uh, you should be on his. What was that? A D100? Yep, so the stench is overpowering. Must make a con times five roll or lose consciousness. Oh, shit. Oh. His bison has passed out. Okay, but the irony is here that he will actually complete his charge as this happens, and depending on Smelly Ass's dex roll, he may just take a bison in the face. All right, so is it so trample? Do your, charge, do your lance charge roll, just make sure that the um, the damage bonus thing uh, next to it is ticked. Okay, lance charge. So sharp lance, um, damage bonus is ticked. Does he get any modifiers? Uh, no, no modifiers on it, but um, if he hits, it will do killing damage. Okay. 
25 points of damage. Smelly ass reluctantly tries to parry, fails miserably, and takes 25 points of damage to the left arm. As Boris collapses, makes a dex roll that he actually tries to get out of the way, and he'll get a plus 20 to a dodge. I roll a dodge for Boris? Oh, no, sorry, I'm just down competing smelly ass. Uh-huh. It's actually pronounced Smealias. Smealias. Smeagol. Okay, so 25 points of damage. He's managed to avoid getting uh, um, absolutely slammed by Boris uh, as Boris falls to the ground. Um, Vic, just make a... Um, uh, for Syndra, just make a, uh, a ride roll. Basically, um, he doesn't... Like, um, Boris is just going to come in like a plane crash landing, bellying out. <laughs> a ride bison. Okay, so like um, Syndra sort of rides in through and sort of um, can hop off at the end of the round as um, Boris crashes. Now, Smellyass took the 25 points of damage. Uh, times three would be 17. One. Okay, he actually collapses to the ground. Who does? Elias does. Okay, good. He has fainted. He just took 10 points of damage after armor to his arm and has collapsed. Uh, so that's where um, Syndra has ended up when Boris has cut, crashed to the ground. Um, mm-hmm. Smellyas has jumped and ends up in that hex across there. And uh, that will be where they end up for the round. Is he still alive? Smellyas is actually alive. But uh, con roll. Collapsed, yeah. about collapsed on the ground. Okay, the rest of the movement. So I've got my second and third arrows still to go, yeah? Yeah, just finishing their movements. Oh, shit. And uh, Mucus is pissing off, isn't he? Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, that's the, their movements all finished. That ghost has not yet latched onto a target. Yikes. Okay, uh, strike rank six, you were arrow. That'd be me. Hooray, left leg. Okay, that was on... Um, on... Um, Belch. What's his name, Belch, this guy here, yeah. Okay, he is uh, annoyed, but still advancing. <laughs> These guys are tough as... Uh, mm. Almost as tough as my rolls. <laughs> yeah, as I say, more a matter of the rolls today. Okay. You can see from um, as you as boat belch comes a little bit closer, roll a scan roll. Scan. Scan. Ah, just uh, enders. Oh my god. Fuck what? me. You got a hundred and three percent scan roll and you rolled a hundred. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Obviously, roll 20 was slow because it was uploading the bullshit patch. <laughs> I think it rolled well today, yet, apart from there was two criticals, wasn't there? Yeah. yeah I can't I even so. remember now. <laughs> okay. So that was on Strike Rank 6. Mm hmm. And. So now we go with um, uh, V-Dead. Um, I'm, my original intent was to lob the rocks at Puss, so I'll just do that again. Okay. Um, then we're back to Indars for the end round. This one clearly bounces off of Lee. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. So, end of that round, statement of intent. Uh, I haven't moved Hengist, so if someone... Right, so um, so Boris is out due to the outrageous smell. Yep, Boris is unconscious. Sindrid is on the edge of the area. Um, smelly ass collapsed to the ground. He'll be out for a couple of rounds. So is, it, so is Boris's wound something that can be... Um, he's not actually like, wounded. It's not actually wounded, he's just knocked out. So like a hill wound wouldn't fix it he's at been, all. He's been to Rotorua, smelt the 
the um, rotten eggs and sort of vomited and collapsed to the ground. Okay. Um. <laughs> he ass jumped, he brought pus into range. So he had to make a con roll. <laughs> no wonder he was out on guard duty by himself. He always gets guard duty. <laughs> you stink. Go over there. <laughs> okay, statement of intent. Tossed him. What am I going to do? Avoid that ghost, that's for sure. What's the maximum I can move right? Sprinting? Um, I will cast Demoralize on Pus and move, move backwards. I am going to... Have a little think. Um, oh shit! I zoomed in way too far. Then um, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose three more give arrows. Another, of the belt. Give me another scan roll. Oh, another scan. Okay. Fumble. And toss the new can as well. <laughs> okay, got a, I got a scan. Yep. Yep. Okay. So smelly ass. Smelly ass was just wearing normal armor, but had a real greasy, dirty look to him. Had a what? A real greasy, dirty look to him. Mm-hmm. Kraken has got like this knobbly intrusions over um, what exposed skin he's got, as well as he's wearing plate armor a lot of the places. Villas is the guy at the back. He's wearing uh, heavy duty armor as well. So he's got a lot of plate uh, that he's wearing. Well, sorry, he's wearing plate arms. Uh, scale Horbuck and Kibody Legs. Belch. Belch is the one in this darkness somewhere. Mm hmm. Belch almost looks like he's got stone skin. Yeah, you know, uh, old Jorah Mormont. Yep. Mm hmm. He sort of got that real sort of rock like look to his skin. And he's got something um, like a, a burnt black look around his face. Endar's recognised it from something similar to a snail. Who's got my stone at the moment? Hengist. Hengist. Was it about Hengist. snail? Sorry, I missed that. It's got burnt face that I sort of recognise from, like, the snails. Uh, Mucus has got this dripping, pussy stuff around his face, and it reminds you very much of uh, Belch, but in a different way. Okay, pus. Okay. Us just looks like he's wearing leather and kibbole. And just the, uh, for him, his horns and his hands he, seem to have like a blackened look to them. And you can't see enough of Tursa to, to tell. Okay. So, Sindrid is going to round on Puss to here and attack with his sharp sword. Yep. Um, and um, yeah, hopefully keep him keep pus in in the range of smelly asses horrible smell. Yeah. Um, to make him roll against that shit. Um, Endars is going to uh, critical against Bel Belch, <laughs> <laughs> and when he does after he's criticaled him, he's going to critical Villas. And uh, be dead. I would also like to critical. <laughs> uh, I guess considering Puss is engaged with Sindri, I don't want to take the chance, so I'll huck a rock at uh, Moose? Is it, or Mucus, as Mucus. he's running? Yeah, Mucus. Yeah, I'll huck a rock at that fool. Two, two, maybe two. Yeah, two. Yeah, two rocks. Okay. And, and Endaz is also going to move three squares to here. Okay. So, uh, first off, Endaz. Here we go. Oh, wrong page. Don't forget, right. you're critical. That's right, critical. Here we go. Oh. A critical. It's not a critical. What's happened there? That should have been a critical. What's going on? It was critical that you critically hit, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, be dead. Did it? I didn't even want to look. <laughs> Seven points of damage to you. 
Nice. Okay, he's limping. Yes. Okay, uh, Tostin. Terrible. Okay. Bring, um, bring Hengus through. Yep, I'm just seeing if, uh, Sword Trunks is 5%, is it? It's like a... 10% for every point. 10%, 10%. per point. Ah, uh, per hmm. magic point, that is. Yep. And it goes on your on your skill, not on anything else. Or not on your yeah. attack, or it goes on skill level. Yeah, he's going to cast um, Sword Trance beginning of the next round, but it's moot. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can cast the Sword Trance as he advances. Sword Trance. What would that be? Death. death True. Really. Death. Oh, yeah. Okay, it didn't come off that round. But he hasn't lost any points. Six. He does. Can you cast rune magic and spirit magic in the same round? No, one spell or the other. But um, okay. it's also advancing as well. So. Yep. Okay, you hit. Oh, and he's. Uh, yep. Sorry. Ooh, who was that on? That's on the same dude. Because I didn't manage to crit critical him. The stone man. Okay, that actually, you see a gash. Yeah, and what about this guy? Did I, did I actually hit him? Uh -huh. A gash in his head. Yep. That's actually how I hit him in his head and hurt him. Good. The last arrow is going to be amazing. Okay, uh, V dead. That was critically unsuccessful. Okay, and Hengus has got to there, so that's all good. Now, Sindrid attacking Puss. Sindrid attacking Puss. Here we go. Oh, I nearly got him with a javelin then. Hang on. What's the deal with Smaniass? Is he, is he, he's writhing, is he? He's unconscious. Oh, cool. There we go. Okay. Happy days. Good hit. Okay, you hit for 14 points on the right arm. Sorry, for 12 points on the right arm. His right arm is hanging useless. And he falls unconscious to the ground. On top of smelly ass? Uh, in that, he's still basically where he is, but he's fallen into that area. Okay. Is that another one of those things down here? Uh, something else is manifesting. Oh, goody. Oh, fucker. Okay, so it, it, that brings us to the end of the round. And, okay, um, both those two in Smelly Arson's thing are unconscious. So um, Vic's managed to do a good job there. Okay, um, Mucus is running away. Like, he is just balls out running away now. Not even sort of um, tactically withdrawing, he is. Um, <laughs> Love it. Where is he? Somewhere down there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Belch is approaching towards you guys. They still can't actually work out where you are, but they now can see Sindred and Angust. Is Boris able to shake off the smell? Uh, Boris is out to the counter. Are we in a uh, statement of intent round? Yep, so I'm just summarising where everyone's at at the moment. So. Oh, hang on, I've still got my third arrow to shoot. Yep. And it goes a little something like this. Hit it. Oh, I love this jam. Hey, special. Okay. Garbage damage, though. Man. He buckles, he, he grunts and sort of clutches at his um, gut and then sort of just keeps walking on towards you. <laughs> Yeah, 2d8 plus 2 rolls an 8. These rolls are terrible. Should hey, I be getting a strength bonus on this? Nah, nothing on this one. Only if you throw the bow at them. Mm. Which you were doing quite well the last time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Tostin's given Ender's the side eye now because after seeing the dragons, like, maybe that was just a flip. Okay, uh, at the end of that round, you guys notice that 
the ghost has made a latch on and beeline towards Hengist. Okay. So, although he's probably in spirit combat, he's probably the best one of us to uh, to engage. Yeah, you might want to just check his spells and see if there's anything there to help him. Uh, there's turn undead, but that's not. Oh, the uh, yeah, this uh, spirit block. Does he he realizes that the ghost coming at him? Oh, he knows it's a ghost. He knows what. Right. Going on there. Yeah. Um... Sindrid's got spirit block as well. He's also got. Um, We've all got it. Impede chaos. So can uh, statement of intent? Can I use my c command cult spirit against this ghost? No, it's only your cult spirits. Uh, this isn't my cult. No. Okay. These are nasty brew. Uh all right, and then can I cast Spirit Block for Hengist to boost it for him, or is it only for myself? Uh, Hengist is Spirit Block. Yeah, I think it's a touch spell. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, no, it's ranged. This spell helps protect the recipient from attack by spirits. Each point of the spell acts as spiritual armor and absorbs two points of magic in spirit combat. Yep. Yeah, I think you... Yeah, just as the recipient. So I think I can cast it on someone else. Is how so I'm interpreting he's, it. He's got spirit block variable, but it's yeah. not. So you can just cast. Yeah, so you can just cast, put in the number of points you want. Oh, okay. Is that the same with shield? Yeah, is that rune points or is that magic points? Rune points. Rune points, okay. Same as shield, but shield only gives you counter magic and predict. Mm. I thought it meant you could get shields too, not that you could say I cast shield, you know, three or whatever. Right, gotcha. Well, he's going to cast spirit block at the beginning of the next round then. See, it used to give you 10 points. What's that? Oh, just the difference between the um, systems. Vidad will also cast spirit block on Hengist. No, it's... Um... You're wasting magic if you try and both cast it because it's whoever casts the strongest one to affect everyone else's is just wasted. It doesn't stack? Not from the uh, independent people. So if you cast it and you cast three points, it's all good, it goes. But if three people cast it, then three people just cast spirit block one. Okay. All right. Um, I guess when I see someone, I'll throw a rock at him. And Tostin's going to sprint towards the or towards end. Tostin's going to sprint towards Enders. Okay. Attacks, Syndrid's turning and trying to go and hunt down Belch. Oh, there's three there. Oh, he's the one that's running. Yep, he's running away. Shouldn't uh, Syndrid be killing Puss? Puss has fallen inside the thing unconscious because he's already locked his arm off. Okay. Syndrid's not a completely st stupid stormball, so he doesn't really want to go back into that area. Oh, I just thought he might be able to reach him with his sword without getting himself damaged. If he tries to go in and stab him, he'll he'll risk having to make a combat. Okay, he won't do that then. So he's going to go after who? Belch. Yeah, Belch would be Belch or Mucus, whichever one stays. Oh, well, Belch, because Mucus will be gone. Cool. Okay. The. Frank. Oh, I can see people. Uh, Belch. Is that the one running away at a full sprint? No. So Belch is the one that everything's bounced off of so far. Oh, I'll throw rocks at him. Oh, I got, I got to get an arrow in his head. Yep. So everything else that has been hit has bounced off, and that was including like ten and eleven points of damage. So a ton okay. of damage that he's taken to his head that works. Was that even the the special eight to the abdomen? But did no damage. He grunted. Yeah, I'll throw rocks at Belch. I'm going to David and Goliath this full. <laughs> I'm I'm going to do an aimed shot to his head. Okay, so you have like a forty percent chance to hit. Yep. I believe in you. Thank you. Millions <laughs> wouldn't after your rolls today, but yeah, that's that's not wise. It's been for saving up for this one. Okay, go. No, that's uh, so we'll be struck. That's off struck. Yeah. Struck and one. Okay, be the... so two will be be dead. 
And now, wouldn't it be Hengist with his rune, rune spell? Yeah, he was casting a spell. His spirit block. Does someone have control of his sheet? I do. Do you say yes, roll it? Yeah, yeah roll it. Okay. Um, truth rune? Uh, truth, death, whatever one you want to use. Boom. Okay, so you got spirit block up. That was two points, wasn't it? Uh, I'm going to do two, correct, yeah. Okay. So that should be four armor total? Yeah. Now, V Dad? End of the round, they're in spirit combat. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, now it's V Dad. Yep. All right. Here's that stone that took down the giant. Oh, and I hit the head, too. Well, you would have. Right. Right. Why is your percentage so low? Because I tried to boost it again and I failed again. Oh, dude. So I got the minus 20. <laughs> it sucks when you bloody augment on that, right? Okay, uh, six, so movement. Can, can I use my hate chaos again and to augment? You've done it already, haven't you? Didn't you get the minus? I did, but can you only do it once? Yep. And if... And if so, can I call on the power of the old Malio and roll against my fire rune against these dark people? So you can use fire rune to augment your bow in that, yep. Sweet. Can you do it on the same thing, though? Because it it, if you got 20%, it would just counter. Ah, uh, yeah, it would, it, would negate, it would negate his negative. That's, that's yeah, and bring me back up to 100. For his bow. Yeah. That's what I will do when it comes time. Is the sun got its hat on? She's pumping out ghosts, that bitch. There we go. The movement's completed. So, in does. Oh, sorry. No, that's six here. So, um, six, seven is... Um, dismiss magic. Can I use that on the ghosts? Won't dismiss a ghost. Okay. Fuck. Okay. So, uh, 12 for in does. That'd be me. So, I'll fire rune myself. Oh, in Yeah, come on. Come on. Am I uh, just no modifier? No. Or just one? To put just, one on the mods just, or zero? Just uh, zero. Uh, just okay. okay, so that's good. So my negative comes back off for me bow. Happy days. And now I'm going to... Uh, do I tick my default box? Yep. I uh, untick your default box. Oh, so sorry. Yeah, yes. Sorry. Yes, Take your default yep. box. Yep. Okay. Headshot. Here we go. Headshot. Here we go. Headshot. Yes. You beauty. Eight. Okay. Six points of damage to his head. Bounces. That was be our belt, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. You noticed something. That looked good. I noticed, I noticed that he's that hurts him. Ooh. Oh. He just pin cushioned his head. Nice. So in two two shots to his head, he's gone down. Yes. Nice. That was one twelve. Now uh, Hengist and Spirit Combat. <laughs> Critical. Oh, oh yeah. Come on. Wait, is that not good? No, that's awesome. Oh okay. <laughs> 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 okay, so do your um, spirit damage. In now, fact, is, you just check it because it's a success versus a critical. Uh, the other sheet isn't. Just hang for you might actually end up getting a bonus to that. Yeah, it wasn't crit yeah critical gets. Yeah, but it's so. um levels of success. Now. Critical to see if the spirit damage is rolled twice and bypasses any spiritual armor. But if that's too. In addition, on a special critical, actual physical damage to hit points are inflicted to red. Okay. What's the page? Uh, three, six, eight. Okay. The winner succeeds in the... So, um, the two winners, a tie... Is it just the, the high... Critical. No, sorry, I was just trying to see if it differentiates um, with the extra damage. Oh, like, think... a, like a, an attack parry type thing? Yeah, so on a critical success, the spirit damage is rolled twice and bypasses any spiritual armor, but he reduced one level because he succeeded as well. So you're a special success. So do the um, so do just roll double damage, du double dam uh, roll damage is double. Yeah. 
Oh, nice. So you just times that 14. by two? No, so it's, double, so it's five plus nine. Yeah, so um, six, 12 plus three is... 14, yeah, so isn't it? Did, yeah, uh, the six and the three is nine, plus another six is 15. Oh, the plus just the roll. No, it doesn't. Now, didn't we have this argument before? Yeah, we've had this conversation twice. It's the um, when we when we found one of the examples, it was the rolled portion versus if on the critical, it would have been double all the damage. Gotcha. So, um, so fifteen points of uh, damage to his magic points. Although in that example, it does say its spirit combat is one d six plus three, and its damage roll is eight, double to sixteen magic points of spirit damage. For a special. So in another encounter with a more powerful spirit, Vichy loses a spirit round combat and the spirit rolls a special success. Its spirit combat damage is 1 point, uh, 1d6 plus 3 and its damage roll is 8, double to 16. Okay, so cool. You just did 18 points of damage. Hell yeah. And where does that damage go? No, the first one was 5. That was the one I rolled first. 2 plus 3. So 10 points. 2 plus 1 plus 3. Oh, that was me. So that was tossed in the barb and Neil. Was that off Hengus sheet, or was that you just rolling? No, it was off Heng. It was off Hengus sheet. Oh, it's showing that it's been tossed in sheet. No, it's tossed. Yeah, in I think because because I'm just rolling as. So if I do this, just check it, will you? Yeah, it did the same for me. Just at the bottom, it says um, as, and then you change the thing there. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Five points of damage becomes ten. Wait, so why aren't you using the nine? Because it's not double rolled. It's just double what you rolled, if you know what I mean. You don't roll it twice. You just double what the first roll was. It says on a critical success, the spirit damage is rolled twice. Yeah, but it's um, because both both succeeded that he got a critical, he gets knocked back to just a special. Oh, Le- okay. Levels of success. Okay, yeah. So the rolled spirit damage is doubled. In addition... Actual physical damage to hit points are inflicted to a random hit location on a corporal target. Corporeal yeah, it's not target. corporal. No, it's, it's a spook. It's a ghost. Uh, well, it does technically have hit points, so I will put it to the air as well. Okay, let me show that for you. Is that round seven? So what's your, what's your, what's Angus power plus chart? Oh, 1d6 plus three is what you rolled. Okay, do you see that now? Sorry, hang on. Ghosty should have some bars above it now. Oh, yeah. Yep. Ooh. Okay, so, movements. Ah, uh, sorry, that was end around, wasn't it? It was uh, strike rank 12. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. Okay, statement of intent. Um, I'm going to do an aimed headshot at Tursa, the Terrible. Um, I I'm will. Going to... Sorry, go on. No, no, go ahead. Uh, I'm just going to move um, this way to. What's his name? Villas. Yep. You can move eight hitters. Yep. I will do an aimed headshot at Villas. You will just come into range of his light. It's Who's light? Ah, uh, Villas. He's, he's, you won't. Oh, he's yeah, okay. He's torch. Yeah. Oh, I didn't realize he had light. No, so damn. Him and the other ones have stayed back and got themselves set up, but they hadn't come into any range for you to get before. Gotcha. Um, All right. Well, I'll stay just outside of his range and I'll cast um, extinguish on Villas. Yeah, I just realized that you wouldn't see it. Okay. Extinguish on Villas. That's cool. So you can do that as you move through. Uh, and the aim shot, did you say, um, be dead? On the... That's correct. And same again with uh, Enders. Yeah, aim shot on the witchy. Yep. My the chance witchy is so shit. Oh, you're anyway. on the witchy. Yep. Okay. So this will go strike rank one. Oh, did Sindrid have to move? Sindrid hasn't moved. He yeah, should be running down there, yep. Wait, is Smelly at, isn't Smelly Ass still in combat? He's unconscious. No, he's passed out. Oh. He got a whiff of his underarm and collapsed. Hmm. Something to do with getting skewered through the arm. It lifted it up, let out the smell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, strike rank one will be, strike rank two will be Tostin. 
extinguish them. Hooray! Now it comes off. So all of a sudden he's pissed off because he's back in no light. Yep, so he can't see jack shit. This is this by the way is round twenty one. Since casting the um uh, dark wall. Round twenty one. And it goes fifteen minutes. How many rounds is that? Three rounds. Sorry? Seventy five. Seventy five rounds, okay. But it also means that um rule doesn't should be dead by then. Okay. Um that was on strike rank one, we've got there. Uh strike rank three. I can't see Jack shit. Strike rank six. Okay. So Sindrid will probably be heading towards the witch, right? Because he won't be able to uh, see. He's chasing down into um, that area, uh, following Reaper's hand, the witch and the Kraken. Has he got? Has Kraken got a torch? Kraken is currently in the range of the fire. Okay. Sorry, I'm just trying to work out how far the light from the fire goes. They're in dim light there, so they're visible, but they're not like they're just now a shape rather than a sight. Okay, so aim shots. Let's go. Shall you go first or me? Oh, after you. You do, Villas. First. Thank you, kind sir. All right, this is my last stone. You can do it, man. To the head. Critical. Stone in the eye. <laughs> Tap to the heart. Oh, oh, you had to get a three? Oh, uh, because I did the aim shot. I figure I had to do a critical regardless. Since my chance was only twenty six percent. All right. So how did how did twenty six percent? Because I got the minus twenty on the um, failed air rune. Yeah, that's already that's already figured in though. Yeah, so it went to minus twenty six percent, and then I did the aim shot, so I clicked the default box. And it took it to three. There's another minus there somewhere then. Should have taken it to thirteen. No, I would have felt that about this because you failed. Okay, aiming for the head of the witch, witch brew. Oh, you've got two minuses, haven't you? You've got two minus twenties. Uh, not that I know of, do I? Wow, well, I'm just thinking. How could you... Not that I notice. It doesn't minus twenty. It only minuses ten. It's only like. So it comes off the overall skill. Yeah, something's wrong with math here. That's all cool. 58 to miss. Okay, let's go for Rendell's. Missed. Weak. Okay. Um, we have here Spirit Chasing Syndred. We have this guy up here trying to find what the fuck is shooting at him. He's now going to look and see if he can see Rendell's at a minus 25. Okay. Can I see anything special about that guy? He still cannot see you. <laughs> Even funnier, I just tried to make it minus 250. So he's looking around, thrashing around, can't see Endaz or Boston. Hasn't seen VDAD yet. Uh, sees Hengist holding a torch. Sees Sindrid going running past, holding the torch. Okay, so statement of intent, statement of Boston. I'm going to um, attack this, attack Villas. Can I move in and do an aimed shot at his head? Your extinguish work, didn't it? So yes, you yeah. can, and you'll get a plus 40. So add the plus 40, then hit the, and hit the default. Yeah. Okay, uh, he does. I am going to advance towards the witch and aim a shot for her head. Okay, if you advance, you can move three hexes, and I'll mm -hmm. still let you take the shot. Okay, cool. So that was... That's your range now, and of course they're still running, which will happen at six, so it'll be depending on what the range is at the end of that round. How far are they moving per range? Or will they be out of range? Not necessarily out of range, but you may end up um, being outside effective range. What's my effective range? Surely that's 100, right? At least. So I've got composite bow, and I've got farsi, and I've got... Um, the, bow's, the bow's range is what's defined, but not your side. So what? Sure. Does it have the range on that sheet? Um, it does, there's no range on on my character sheet. Um, no, there's nothing. Oh, hang on there. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, range a hundred. Yep. 
So if they get outside that 100 metres, then you'll be at half your chance to hit. Oh, really? How, how many hex are they moving? Ah, they're running full tilt. So is that eight for them? Yeah, basically. So 24 metres. So 97, 107, 108, 109, 111. And I will move nine, which will put them outside. Yeah, they'll be outside of range. So it's it's no so point me getting. Um, just if it, all that matters is that you'd, if you're trying to do the aim shot, then of course you'd be at a quarter of your chance to hit. Um, I'll just I'll just fire three arrows at them. Can I? Can I? Well, I can't advance if I'm firing three. At the start of the round, you decide you're going to do the. Um, you're going to move and do the range. So you move the three, and then you realise that she's getting away. So I'll let you snap off to a shot on six and twelve. Okay. So six uh, will be so... at six will be at just normal chance to hit. Twelve will be at half. Actually, let me let me get um, instead of that. Let me fire. I'll get one shot off at her. And I want to get um, a shot off each at, at these guys that are on the ground. That'll be the first shot will be at six. First shot at six. Why so? Oh, sorry, we're still in statement of intent, aren't we? Yep. So no, don't worry. Yeah. Yep. So one shot at here, no movement. Then you're going to shoot at Yeah. Yeah. All right. So for me. Um, I still have that wand in my hand, so I'm going to attempt a befuddle on Viaz, and then um, I'm going to put the wand away and pull out my large shield and battle at Actually, my throwing hatchets. Okay, so Tostin, do your throw Just, um, when you come back. Uh, go with your first shot, Enders. Okay, first shot for the witch. Die. Oh, you fucking kidding me. Oh, hang on. Uh, 92 will That's, hit. I've got my defaults still on, so... So untick it, yeah. I'll just roll it. Unticked, yeah. So 92 does hit. Oh, do I need to roll it again roll just to get the damage? damage in it. Nice. There it is. Oh, uh, what? No. Wasted it. We're using that roll, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I can't. Okay. Oh, Tostin, well... Tostin, do you no. know just before you have to build off? Yeah. Dude. Jesus. Okay. That was crap. Terrible. Right, I'm out. I'll, I'll only... keep I'll keep the audio on anyway. Oh, that's cool. We'll um, finish up here just because it, um, it still get messy. So, so what am I doing with my... Um, yep, I'm just going through. With my bow roll. You rolled a seven plus uh, seven for the first damage dice, plus one makes eight. And that would go to the old admin, abdomen. On the abdomen, side. yeah. Damn. Oh, put this way. With her protection spell up, I'll let that hit her head. I'll, I'll take your second roll, as it is, because it won't kill her. But it will put her in a, um, a bad way. It's always Ooh. far more dangerous. So that was on one. That was on the hit there. Um, mm -hmm. Befuddle. Befuddle. Okay. V dad. And power times five, is that what it was? Oh, well, that's fortunate. It's failed. Yep. Uh, your chance would have been 80. That minus. Well, his power's only 12. Oh, is it? Shit. Okay. Didn't come off. Okay. And then let's cut to uh, Hengist and the spirit trap. So what I'll do is I'll just open up um, Hingus for you. Uh, Sim. For me? Yep. Okay. Just because um, Neil's going to be busy with Sindred. All right. Uh, Hingus. Hang, hang on, I'm just doing it. Oh, okay. Roll 20 is running so slow. It's just... Okay, it should be yours now. And I'm just rolling Spirit Combat, correct? Uh, the first rune or the second rune? Failed. Yeah. So I did a success for eight points of damage, less four. So take four points off your hit points. Off my hit points? Sorry, off your magic points. Off my magic points. Okay. Thank goodness for shield. Mm-hmm. Okay, Sindred and the lovely spirit. 
So the spirit's coming into battle, is he? Yep, so those two foes on uh, strike rank six. And let's go with, um, and I'll just put it up. Okay, uh, roll Sindred Spirit. Should he not be boosted with his hate chaos? Uh, it should do, but it was only given plus 20. So I both failed, yeah. so nothing happened that round. Okay. Okay, and then you with your last two arrows. So the first one's going at um, Puss. Um, and if Puss dies, then the second one will go over there. Oh. Isn't Puss already dead? No, it's no, just passed out. Oh. Both those two just uh, passed out unconscious. Oh, should I be getting a 40 plus to that then? Yep, should be. So that. Uh, it, it doesn't would... make it special. It would make it critical. Uh, it would make it special, surely. Uh, if there's 20, 40 on 20, that. Only 20% uh, 20 of 140. Okay. 140 would be uh, 28. Okay. So 9 points. So, n so 9 to pass. And then the next arrow to pass. Uh, my... Oh, he's dead? Cool. So then Smelly Ass is going to cop the the last arrow of the night. Just like that. Okay. That doesn't do a lot. <laughs> Jesus. It does hurt him. It doesn't do a lot. It definitely hit him. It does penetrate, but hard leather armor doesn't really sort of do much past that. Mm-hmm. Oh. Right. We'll finish, so, we'll just finish it here, which is twenty-two or 